Park Kwan A, Wikipedia article audio. 1XB7, 3B1M, 3CS8, 3D24, 3U9Q, 3V9T, 3V9V, 4QJR, 4QK4. Function NM013261, NM0013307051, NM0013307529, NM0013307532, NM008904. Regulation NP0013417555, NP0013417566, NP0013417577. Clinical Significance NP032930 Interactions Peroxisome proliferator activated receptor gamma coactivator 1 alpha is a protein that in humans is encoded by the PARG1A gene. PARG1A is also known as human accelerated region 20. It may, therefore, have played a key role in differentiating humans from apes. PGC1 alpha is the master regulator of mitochondrial biogenesis. PGC1-alpha is a transcriptional coactivator that regulates the genes involved in energy metabolism. It is the master regulator of mitochondrial biogenesis. This protein interacts with the nuclear receptor PPAR gamma, which permits the interaction of this protein with multiple transcription factors. This protein can interact with, and regulate the activities of, CAMP response element binding protein and nuclear respiratory factors. It provides a direct link between external physiological stimuli and the regulation of mitochondrial biogenesis, and is a major factor causing slow twitch rather than fast twitch muscle fiber types. Endurance exercise has been shown to activate the PGC1 alpha gene in human skeletal muscle. Exercise-induced PGC1-alpha in skeletal muscle increases autophagy and unfolded protein response. PGC1-alpha protein may be also involved in controlling blood pressure, regulating cellular cholesterol homeostasis, and the development of obesity. PGC1-alpha is thought to be a master integrator of external signals. It is known to be activated by a host of factors, including PGC1-alpha has been shown to exert positive feedback circuits on some of its upstream regulators. Anite and calcineurin are both activators of NF-kappa B. Through their activation PGC1-alpha seems to activate NF-kappa B. Increased activity of NF-kappa B in muscle has recently been demonstrated following induction of PGC1-alpha. The finding seems to be controversial. Other groups found that PGC1-S inhibit NF-kappa B activity. The effect was demonstrated for PGC1-alpha and beta. PGC1-alpha has also been shown to drive NAD biosynthesis to play a large role in renal protection in acute kidney injury. Recently PARG1A has been implicated as a potential therapy for Parkinson's disease conferring protective effects on mitochondrial metabolism. Moreover, Brain-specific isoforms of PGC1-alpha have recently been identified which are likely to play a role in other neurodegenerative disorders such as Huntington's disease and amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. Massage therapy appears to increase the amount of PGC1-alpha which leads to the production of new mitochondria. PGC1-alpha and beta has furthermore been implicated in M2 macrophage polarization by interaction with PAR with upstream activation of STAT6. 
An independent study confirmed the effect of PGC1 on polarization of macrophages towards M2 via STAT6 slash PPAR gamma and furthermore demonstrated that PGC1 inhibits pro-inflammatory cytokine production. Krebs binding protein, Farnesoid X receptor, FBXW7, MED1 MED12 MED14 MED17, NRF1, estrogen-related receptor alpha, estrogen-related receptor beta, estrogen-related receptor gamma, peroxisome proliferator activated receptor gamma, retinoid X receptor alpha, thyroid hormone receptor beta. PGC1-alpha has been recently proposed to be responsible for beta-aminoisobutyric acid secretion by exercising muscles. The effect of beta-aminoisobutyric acid in white fat includes the activation of thermogenic genes that prompt the browning of white adipose tissue and the consequent increase of background metabolism. Hence, the beta-aminoisobutyric acid could act as a messenger molecule of PGC1-alpha and explain the effects of PGC1-alpha increase in other tissues such as white fat. PARG1A has been shown to interact with ER-alpha and PGC1-alpha are co-activators of both glucokinase and SIRT3, binding to an ERRE elements in the GK and SIRT3 promoters. This article incorporates text from the United States National Library of Medicine, which is in the public domain.